Hello everyone, this is Private Dill Airsoft and welcome to my debut video. Um, this is my first major one that I'm putting on this channel. So I figured for that occasion, I would show you guys my personal M4 that I use for Airsoft. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this bad boy right here is the Lancer Tactical LT 15 CB. This is the model with the quad rail and the integrated mock suppressor, just for style points, I guess. And this is uh, Gen 2 M4. I did see that they just released uh, Gen 3s, but I haven't gotten into that yet. So this for right now has been my main rifle for airsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some of the more specific details about it. So, taking a look at uh, some of the more in-depth stuff about this um, M4 from Lancer Tactical, we have uh, crane stock in the back, which is uh, like many M4s anymore that come stock. They have the crane stock on it, obviously adjustable, uh, four, five, possibly uh, points of adjustment on here. And this is actually where you put your battery in. Now, this one came with a 9.6 volt um, nunchuck type battery and the charger for it too. So um, that's why I would recommend getting it off of Amazon because you get all the stuff with it. So you don't have to try and find the right battery for it, which might end up costing you more. So, but yeah, it just has little tabs on the side here and just take it off that off there you go that's right where you attach your battery and then normally you extend it out to make sure you get all the wiring in there so it doesn't get caught up in the stock it doesn't get uh, chipped or anything you don't want to mess up the electrical stuff in that then I just keep it down low to make it more CQB sometimes also easier for um, storage but um, moving up we do have a charging handle, which has a little safety bit right here, which actually um, folds down the dust cover. So you just tab that in, got the charging handle. And yeah, I mean, it looks cool, but it actually does have a purpose because the hop up is in there. So, you know, depending on what weight of BBs you're using, um, you can just change that to kind of make sure your BBs are shooting on straight. Especially with a sight, which this didn't come with the gun. This is extra. What did come with the gun are these, I'm pretty sure they're called Fang uh, iron sights. But they're really nice. They're spring-loaded, and you just press the button do that. There's also one in the front. Make sure I get that. Yep. They're kind of cool looking. Not bad, not bad. And they do have Allen keys, so you can take those off if you want. If it doesn't match your uh, setup or style. So, um, as you can see, there's a little bit of rust, but that's from uh, wear and tear after using it for so many times. But, hey, it works. So, I mean, I'll just have to sand it off later. Here we have safety. Uh, yeah, safe semi no, fully automatic i don't have the battery in this and it's unloaded so no one yell at me um obviously it takes standard m4 magazines just in the magwell it's got a mock bolt release on the side it doesn't actually do anything and just you know if you're one of those reloading channels which i don't i don't discourage because i mean it gets fused <laughs> but you know if you're reloading with like GoPro on, you just pretend to smack that. It looks realistic, so I mean, pros to you. Um, moving up a little more, we have the quad rail system and this kind of handguard lug in the back, which you can unscrew if you want to change the handguard. Um, here is the mock suppressor. Um, doesn't actually do anything doesn't quiet anything just looks cool and yeah that's about it for the stock gun let's get into 
the now getting into the accessories um up top for right now i have a vulcan red dot sight on it with uh five different brightnesses on there and i will say this thing holds battery amazingly it's not like an iphone um i've accidentally left this thing on for at least 24 hours and it's still going strong and i've obviously used it uh more than that so yeah definitely recommend vulcan because their batteries or their um sites definitely um are good on battery saving up front i have a angled foregrip which is just kind of my style um not saying they're any better than just a regular vertical foregrip but i just personally like how it feels and just how i can kind of grip the whole barrel easier and then i've got these rail covers which are just rubber you know feels better than just regular uh polymer picatinny rail and you know also i decided that I don't want to pay 10 bucks for um, sling mounts for my gun. So I just took zip ties, put those on there. Um, kind of rednecky, but hey, works. You know, you just kind of attach your sling to there. And yeah, it's not bad. So um, I will show you some other attachments that I have on there or that I have put on here, just so you can get kind of how much you can do with this and you can even do more, just it's what I've done. So I will go ahead and show some of those to you now. Alright guys, so that's about it for this video. I will say if you like this video and if you want to see more, please let me know. And if you're feeling generous, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you got to do. And yeah, uh, if you like these kind of reviews or if you want to see reloads or whatever you want to see, like range stuff, um, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. So yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.